Get ready to spread some Grinchmas cheer with this super cute Grinchmas Christmas box. Hey guys, welcome back to Hanging with the Kiddos Custom Party Favors. I'm Latoya. Today we have another tutorial showing you how to use our Christmas Eve template to create this Grinch themed design. We'll walk you through the entire process from accessing the Christmas Eve box template to finding the perfect Grinch images and fonts to make your labels stand out. So grab your supplies and let's unleash our creativity in this fun and festive Grinchmas Christmas box tutorial. To get started, here's what you'll need. HWTK's Christmas Eve box template, sticker paper or glossy photo paper, a printer, double-sided tape, scissors or paper trimmer, and 8x4 gift boxes. First things first, if you haven't already, you'll want to grab our Christmas Eve box template from our website. Once you have the template, open up the PDF that comes with the template download. The template comes with labels to fit both the 8x4 and the 6x4 boxes, but today we're going to be working with the 8x4 labels. Next, click on the provided Canva template link. This link will take you directly to Canva. Select the option to use template for a new design. So as we mentioned earlier, the template does come with both the 6x4 and the 8x4 box labels. The 8x4 labels are going to be on two separate pages. One label is going to be for the top of your boxes and the other label is going to be for the side of the box. Normally these labels need minor customization. However, as we want to create Grinchmas theme labels, we will need to make significant changes. Even so, using the template will still speed up the process. We will guide you through the process of customizing the labels, including finding and adding Grinch images, adding a custom font, and sharing additional useful tips. So stay tuned. Begin by navigating to google.com. Click on the Images option. In the search bar, type in Grinch PNG. PNG images typically offer transparent options. Scroll through the images until you find one that you'd like to use and right click on it to copy. Return to Canva where you can easily paste the copied image into your design. Another way to import an image is by saving it directly from Google. Right click and save it to your device. Head back to Canva and upload the saved image by selecting the upload option. If the image you found doesn't have a transparent background, here's how to remove it using Canva's background removal feature. Please note, this is available with Canva Pro. Simply upload the image, add it to your design, select the image, and go up to Edit Photo. Navigate to the Effects panel. There you'll find the Background Remover tool. Click on it and Canva will magically remove the background. Alternatively, Canva Pro also offers the Magic Grab Effects tool, allowing you to extract subjects from their backgrounds. Select the image and go up to Edit Photo. Go to the Effects panel, scroll until you find the Magic Grab tool, click on it and Canva will handle the rest. I'm going to add a blank page and continue uploading and adding my images. Next, let's explore where to find the perfect Grinch-themed font. Head over to Creative Fabrica's website and search for the Grinch font in their font library. After downloading the font file, remember to unzip it to access the font files within. You must have a Canva Pro account to upload a custom font. If you don't have one, sign up for Canva Pro using our referral link and get a 30-day free trial. The link will be below this video. 
Now, return to Canva's homepage and navigate to the Brand Kit section. Click on Fonts within the Brand Kit and select Manage Uploaded Fonts, Upload a Font, or a similar option. Next, click on Add New or Upload a Font and navigate to the folder where you save the downloaded font file. Choose the font file and click Open or Upload. Wait for the file to finish uploading. Once uploaded, the font should appear in your uploaded fonts list. Now that we have added our Grinch images and font, we can begin customizing the labels. As I mentioned before, we're going to be using the 8x4 labels. Now I'm just going to go through my label and delete all of the elements that I know I don't want to use for this particular design. Now looking at the do not open before December the 24th frame, I know I want to move this to the top here, but it has multiple text layers within that frame and everything is not already grouped together. And I want to group everything together so that I can move it all in one piece. To group all the elements within a frame, follow these steps. Select any element within the frame. Go to the position tab and select layers. While holding down the command key on your keyboard, select the frame image and all of the text layers within the frame. Go to the group option and select it. Now, everything within the frame will be grouped together, allowing you to move all the elements at once. Next, I'm just going to continue deleting the elements that I know I don't want to use in this design, adding my clip art, editing my text, and finishing up my design.
After customizing your labels, click the Share button in the upper right corner and select Download. For the best print quality, choose the PDF print file format. And that's a wrap on our Grinchmas Christmas Box Labels tutorial. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already. Connect with us on social media for more crafting ideas, behind the scenes peeks, and to share your own festive creations with our community. All right guys, thanks so much for joining us today. Your support means so much to us. Happy holidays, happy crafting, and see you next time. Bye.